No, I think I should just take it off. You know, it's just... I think I should just leave it down. Because I've been liking my hair dye ever since I got my highlights, so don't mind the fucking train behind me because they like to run. Even though it's their job. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Diana. Um, I'm back with another college video because I got a request from someone that they wanted to know how I got into Sunya Oswego, about like my GPA, my SAT scores. And today I'm talking to you guys about that. So, and I have my little notes here because if you guys watched my last video, <laughs> y'all already know I have ADD. But yeah. How should I start this off? I'm, this is like my first time doing something like this. I think I should like move it a bit there. And like, you know, it's like, no, but then like, no. That just like was a fucking it was a fucking distraction. I need to get my pills. Damn, I really don't know how to start this video off. This is this is this is weird. When I was a senior in high school, right, obviously we have to go through all these college vacations, what colleges we really wanted to go to, we had, you, know, you know, the whole like 12 colleges on the list and having to apply for all of them, like your reach schools, your top schools, your safety schools. So SUNY Oswego was mainly like a safety school for me because I decided to like, want, I wanted to go to a private college, but like, <laughs> that did not work the fuck out because all of them just rejected me. <laughs> They lost the good Diana. So all the private schools that I wanted to go to either rejected me or I just never applied to them. I was a, I was a very slacky, lazy slack person. So as soon as we go, it was like um, a safety school and not a private school. I didn't look that much into it as a senior. What I was mainly focusing on was like my SAT scores, my AP calculus exam. Uh, all of my honors classes, just trying to pass them. I have like a list. Here. I have like a list here of things that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about, like what classes I took, what my scores was, what the scores that the student yesterday school asked for required. Let's just see how that goes. For my freshman year, I'm gonna like go through all. I'm gonna I'm gonna go like all the way from freshman year because obviously I think that I should like consider that like end my video because I feel like you guys can really tell like um how what classes that I took um how my GPA was for my freshman year I've taken like five classes in total three of them were like academic classes while the other ones was like an activities for my first year I took English one I received a 75. Uh, for my algebra one class, I've gotten an 85. I was in living environment. That one I got an 86. And for my choir, I was in a choir because I went to a school that was based on performing arts school, and basically we had like our own majors. There's like five things you can go through, which is like dance, uh, voice, aka choir, instrumental, arts. And drama so I went in there as a vocal major because obviously I like to sing and I felt like I was gonna do something with music as a career so I was in a choir I took a freshman choir like a freshman survey to be exact because we had like a weird survey and then I had swimming instead of PE because they gave us an option to either have PE or swimming or aerobics so I went for in swimming because obviously I thought that learning how to swim would be really like awesome to learn so I went for that. The last class, the so freshman year, I've taken U.S. history. For my sophomore year, I have taken. Before even going down the list even further, colleges will look through your GPA, and especially for SUNY Oswego, they look for, they look at your academic GPA and also rigorous courses. I, if you guys don't don't know the term rigorous, it means basically challenging courses that your school offers. If you've taken these classes, it will pop up more in your application, meaning like you've taken these difficult classes that your school offered and that you've done some kind of good work. So I have taken honors classes. So they were honors geometry honors algebra 2 and honors chemistry and then i've taken regular global history retaken swimming and then for my junior year i have taken very 
very very hard classes i felt like i i felt like i actually took really like hard classes during this year um so i've taken pre-calculus english five because our high my high school like did like some kind of like two semesters kind of stuff where like I would still take the same courses like like for the second semester of that year is just different like superior I said so superior what a level up of it so that's what I'm saying like English 5 and the rest I was like English 1 or English 3 I've taken chemistry again because a bitch failed her regions I've retaken global history but only because our actually why Oh, yes, right, yes. Right. So also with global history, I'm also taking a Spanish class because I know that there are schools who offer, obviously, language courses that have to also do with, like, your diploma. There was, like, that one section that said languages other than English, and so I've taken Spanish for that. Gotta, gotta learn your Spanish. Ole. And I also had a choir. So my major... I've always taken that class for each year, so I'm always I'm, I'm just gonna oh great I'm always gonna repeat choir because obviously I've been taking that every single year. So and then for my senior year, now this is gonna be huh. so I've taken an English course, but it had to do with like being connected with Syracuse University. Uh, there was this thing called Syracuse University Project Advance classes. It meant like you were you were, you were basically taking a college course in high school, and you're we can be gaining credits and those credits will be applied to your credits for college so that for, for that particular class you won't be taking that like I said before in my previous video about how colleges will be taking credits so basically I kind of taken a college course so I don't have to take it when I'm actually at college so that's what I did I, I didn't have to take a gen ed English course so that was great for me if your high school offers a super class, please go for it. Like, go for it. Honestly, I felt it. W I felt like it. It wasn't really that hard to do because it was English class. Even though that wasn't my strongest subject, so I went in there. I got like an A, and so I've gained six credits. That already fulfilled my credit requirements graduating. So that was a great thing. <laughs> Along with my super class, I actually took an AP course, and that was my AP Calculus AB. It was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, pretty freaking hard. I, a bitch, a bitch got out, a bitch got out, it passed. Along with that, I also took an honors course, which was honors physics. And then along with that, I've taken a participation in government. Basically, it was a government class, like a US government class. And then for senior year, I actually taken a PE uh, course. I feel like I've taken physical education all my years, except sophomore and freshman year. I feel like for junior year, I actually went to a... I feel like for my junior year, I think I'd taken a PE course. I just never written it down. Have you taken a PE course? It was with Rebecca. I mentioned her name out there. That's my best friend. That's my best friend, Beach. And then again, for my senior year, <laughs> taking choir again. So those were, those were the courses that I've taken throughout my four years of high school. And with that, that really helped a lot when the colleges looked at my profile. Especially Sunia Oswego, since they did say like they would look at rigorous courses. So basically, overall, my GPA overall, when I got my transcript, it was an 88. So basically, if you like put that into a 4.0 scale, that would have been like a 3.3. And so what Sonia Oswego looks forward to is the kid to have like a 3.5, like a minimum of a 3.5. I don't know how I've managed to get into our school with a 3.3, even though I was below the minimum i feel like they looked into basically the courses that i've been taking like there was like a lot of honors courses and one ap class so i feel like with that i was able to get in as i mentioned before that sonia Sigo wants you to have a minimum of 3.5 that means that you need you need like a mix of like a lot of a lot of a's a lot of b's very few c's and i feel like i've had a lot of more c's and a's and b's in my first two years of high school and i feel like that kind of helped a bit so and so even if you don't have like a 3.5, like a minimum 3.5, if you've taken an AP course or an IB course, that can compensate even if, if your GPA is low. So that is something that they can compensate with. And so since we all think about our colleges around our junior year and it's like time for you to like, you know, get our shit together basically. It is very hard, very difficult 
to change your GPA during that time because it's like you're halfway through your school years of high school. It basically you can't really change a lot of things. Like if you had like a two point something, like both your freshman and your sophomore year, you can try to like improve it and increase it by like studying more and getting like a, a higher grade from your classes um it can help but it's just very difficult to just increase your gpa so when your junior year since it's really difficult for you to change your gpa um i suggest you guys highly like study more in your sat because according to our school if your gpa is low at the time then studying more and having a higher score in your sat can literally compensate that i have I suggest you guys like really study like have like a really high SAT score um talking about the SAT so my score for my SAT uh, I had I had like a super score some colleges do super scoring some colleges don't since with our college they do the super scoring my super score was a 1060 and basically or our school's SAT score requirement is basically um 1160 i felt it was weird because i had like the minimum of the gpa even though i took i've taken like the ap class and a lot of honors classes and especially since my sat was lower than their actual like requirement i, don't, I still don't understand how, why i got in like I said before, you guys need to, you guys really need to study for your SAT because they require you to have like 1160 or higher. So that is a tip for you guys. So that if you really want to get into SUNY Oswego, you should have like a 3.5, like a minimum GPA of a 3.5, meaning few A's, few B's, and a little bit of C's. You'll be fine. If you study enough and you get more than 1160, you're great you're fine and for all my fellows out there who want to take the act which is obviously a, the kind of like sat but they have like a science portion in it highly suggest you guys if you want to go for the act their act score requirement is basically a 24. i highly 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 suggest you guys to study on your sats and if you're planning to get the act study very hard for the act as well because they look for people who have you know those scores even though um on the on this website it said that they don't really look, go over your standardized test scores basically the sat and the act they may look for the gpa and academic gpa and the amount of like rigorous courses basically have all those three elements in good places in good stance so that if you want to go for it they might accept you you'll have a higher chance of getting accepted so it's that i hope you guys enjoyed this video so much and if you did that give it a big thumbs up if you guys want to see more content like this or you guys want to suggest me any video ideas that have to do with college or anything like that, um, comment them down below. Um, and if you guys want to see more content like this on my channel, you better subscribe and ring that notification bell.